Hello, today I want to show you the principle of operation of a DC to DC voltage doubler. This is the schematic, it's very simple as you can see. We only have two switches and two capacitors. In this position of the switches, note that the current flows here to the first capacitor and back to the battery. Therefore, this capacitor will be charged to the voltage of the input. Now, we move the switches to the other position And in this position, the current flow flows from here to the second capacitor and back to the battery. And now the other capacitor is charged also to the voltage of the input. But note that these two capacitors are in series and therefore the voltages add up and here at the output we will have double the input voltage. Instead of two switches, we can use a single double pole, double throw switch, also known as DPDT, which is basically two switches in one package. Here we can see the connections of the switch. In the central pins of the switch, we connect the negative and positive of the battery. The two terminals on the diagonal are connected together and from there we have a wire that goes to the center of the two capacitors. And finally the remaining two terminals. From there we get two wires that will go to the ends of the capacitors. Here's our model of the DC to DC voltage doubler. We have the two capacitors connected in series and the connections of the switch. I am using two capacitors of 4700 microfarads. So let's now see how it works. Let's see the circuit in action. The power supply is off and let's check the voltage in the capacitors. The lower capacitor has zero volts and the upper capacitor is also almost discharged. Now I'm going to turn on the power supply and let's see. Here we have 10 volts. This capacitor is now charged and this is discharged because the switch is in the position that charges this capacitor. Now I move the switch to the other position and here we have 10 volts and the upper capacitor is also charged. So at the output of the circuit we have 20 volts, double the voltage of the power supply. Of course when you connect a load to the circuit the capacitor, one of the capacitors will discharge. So we have two continually move the switch from a position to the other in order to charge both capacitors. Let's test the circuit using a 1.5 battery and a green LED. You can see how the voltage shown by the multimeter is the voltage of the battery. Only one of the capacitors is charged. I'm going to move the switch and look at the LED and the voltage of the multimeter. You see the LED turned on, the voltage grow, but it returns to the original voltage because the LED is consuming the charge of the capacitor that is not being charged. So when I move the switch again, the same happens. We need to charge one capacitor at a time with each movement of the switch. So in this kind of circuits, you need to continually move the switch in order for both capacitors to charge. Of 
course, in a practical circuit, you do not do the switching with a mechanical switch, but you use transistors to do the switching at a fast rate of several kilohertz. In a forthcoming video, we will do such a circuit. Thank <laughs> you.